I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> something <laughs> uh, have you talked to them yeah. i didn't know that well i mean your dad's like one of the coolest guys i've ever talked to but i remember oh really i'm almost positive it was you you were talking to me you were super sad dude you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you were like yeah my whole family dude like they always like call me gay and shit. <laughs> i think just when i didn't have a girlfriend like, dude, every time, I don't know, I feel like if you just don't have a girlfriend for three seconds, your family just thinks you're gay. Oh, uh, you think that was it? I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Or I, mean, I might think I'm, I'm. that might have been all in my head. Probably was fully in my head. You think you were in your head a little bit? Because you One, seemed super, I didn't know what to do, man. Like, dude. you seemed super upset. <laughs> I didn't have any good advice for you. <laughs> so funny, if you're that upset about something I just made up in my own head. Yeah, it made me think, too, because like. Made you think about. All my all my boys, dude. Like most of them, like their family thinks they're gay. Yeah, what's up with that? I mean, none of us have girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> We're always like hanging out with each other. Yeah, playing like Xbox and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. My mom's the opposite, dude. Like she gets upset when I uh, hang out when with you... chicks like once a year. She gets upset about it. Yeah, Do you I, think she I don't like... think she does get upset, but like in my head, it feels that way. Right. You know, this is all I think just in our heads. Like, I feel like, I feel like moms in general, like, they kind of want to, like, care for you and, like, take mm -hmm. after you. So when they see, like, another girl doing that, they're like, all right, this is... They get mad depressed about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if, like, uh, it's, like, a weird thing, though, because they don't want... I don't think they want you to be gay. I mean, my mom uh, had two brothers, and they were both gay. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I might come out soon, dude. Dude, it might happen. Might be in my Wait, blood, that's, dude. Yeah, they were both gay. I think. Maybe that's why I'm hard all the time, dude. Wait, they didn't. You, may, you don't think they made each other gay? My mom's brothers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just having, like, nonstop sleepovers, dude. Many they dude. did have sleepovers for the first however many years of their life. Yeah, that could have been it, man. Like, Heck. the bunk bed situation. Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy that you always like sleep with your siblings and one day is the last day you ever sleep with your sibling. Oh yeah. I mean, dude, I have a sister and like she would have all of her hot friends over for sleepovers, dude. We were playing like truth or dare and shit, bro. Yeah. One like, of my Guatemalan like boys. Thirteen years dude, younger than you. My Guatemalan friend Joey like stuck his dick in a bottle that was literally like the size of that. Damn. <laughs> that's the type of stuff we were doing, man. Dude, that's crazy. And then you showed it you showed it to them? <sighs> I showed him what? Like, he showed it to them. <laughs> or is this he just in a separate a, room? He did it in front of everyone. Oh, okay. It was like yeah. truth or dare. I was going to say, I thought you guys were just like, <laughs> they were having a sleepover and you were in the next room sticking your dick in bottles. No, he just did it. They, nobody even asked him, honestly. Yeah. It wasn't even truth or dare. He just, was he fully naked or did you just pull his pants down? I think he just pulled his pants down. Yeah, that's a good move. It'd be crazy. But like, everyone was like amazed. <laughs> that crazy if you left out the naked part. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just comes out ass naked. Yeah. That probably has a lot to do with being gay, though, dude. Like, the way you fucking socialize, you know? Or, yeah, What's that called? Socialization? Socialization. Oh, you think, like, it's a... You think it's a nurture thing, not a nature thing. I mean, dude, if you're a straight dude surrounded by straight-up homosexual men... Yeah. Chances are, dude, they're gonna show you the way. They might force <laughs> you into it, dude. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what, uh... I think that happened to my sister, dude. She was surrounded. She was, like, straight and then met a... A transgender yeah who was like yo come to the dark side your sister's going that way she's straight again oh she went back and forth. she trans out of oh me. dude she went back and she, forth like she she went trans <laughs> dude really how far did she go to the other way all the way man all the way to the dark she side. cut her tits off <laughs> no, no. oh all right oh no my sister didn't transition i meant oh. she like uh went to the dark side sexually and then came back you know right. what i'm saying but i shouldn't say that my, it's not the dark side no nah, <laughs> Not dude. It literally is the dark it side. It is though. the darker yeah. side. What um 
so you so she went she went gay for a little mm. she didn't go trans for a, a little well uh i mean dude this was in high school bro right there was uh there was i don't even i don't even know if it was a it was a man i think it was a woman who wanted to be a man went to be a man yeah. i think yeah i don't know how she was feeling dude yeah but her name was anita dressed like dude, I, sh- <laughs> dude super cuts. I, need, I need to, I need to <laughs> cut my dick off <laughs> Yeah, I need a haircut now, dude. Fucking literally, bro. Dick off. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Her name was Anita, dude. Shaved head, like mm-hmm. super cuts, buzz yeah. cut, bro. Nasty. Dressed like had the fucking the gangster Swag hat, out. dude. Yep. Sag pants and stuff. Yeah, look like a few of my boyfriends. Yeah, yeah. You know, Your boys. Yeah, dude, she looked like dude. She looked like she was just eight of you. Yeah, but dude, she uh she got my sister good, bro. She brought her over, man. Really? Yeah. You think that was like an influence? I think she was forced into it. And I'm not just saying that because yeah. I hate gay people. But wait, here's my thing. So she was born a, a girl, transitioned to a man. Your sister, did they, they hooked up? I mean, I didn't see any of it, man. That's still, I think, technically, technical, technicality. I think she's still straight because she was born a woman. Yeah, this was in high school, man. So this was back. She could get off like, uh, like on a tech, like in court. This went yeah. to straight court. Mm-hmm. I think you could argue that as a technicality. You think she it's get like away a loophole in the law? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Especially back then, dude. I don't even think they would know what to do. Nah, man. They might just kill her. Yeah. Like on the spot. Yeah, fully. But even, dude, when I was in high school, man, that wasn't even like a thing, really. The whole trans thing. Nah. It wasn't nah. that popular. Nah. So she like started the movement, I think. Yeah. Do you think she started the entire like countrywide movement? I think so. Yeah. I think on you're Facebook. probably right. I don't think there was just like weird. I think everyone in high school that was just like, I think we just called them gay. I think they just all yeah. fell under gay. You know what I mean? I mean, we're still calling everyone gay. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know. It's pretty good. That's pretty true. Yeah. So may, I don't know. Maybe I'll just come out as trans to my family. They'll, they won't even, they'll have no idea what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, you'd be a fucking, I can't even. Sick. Yeah, I can't even look you right now, dude. Bro, you th- you thinking about it, dude? <laughs> Getting a little hard, man. Problem is, yeah. I'm like hairy. I'm like a hairy guy, so like. Yeah, even you, you shave, dude. I can't even. Really? You think I'm like, I'm like a girl? <laughs> it's just weird when you shave, man. Like it's like. Yeah, it's not often, dude. Why are you shaving, dude? You going down on chicks? Yeah, but I'm trying to grow the stubble. I'm trying to leave a mark. Oh shit! You know what I mean? Like an imprint. Yeah. What would you imprint, dude? My just my like my stubble. Oh, you wouldn't write anything. Yeah, no, I would. Oh, I, th- I know, I would fucking, <laughs> dude. I wear like a headband with like a symbol on it, and then so I go down on my press it. And then when I leave, it's there. It's like a branding. Oh, so you wouldn't even need her out. You just use your forehead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude, imagine you go down, <laughs> you go down on a chick, you press your forehead <laughs> against her. You just yell something. She's like, no, you yell, "Is that good, baby?" <laughs> like it at her vagina. Yeah. Yeah. He like f- heads fully underneath her. That'll be cool if you like head butted her and then said something like mythological. Yeah. Like Odysseus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, like for you say for for you say freedom. You fucking run and oh, like a brave heart type it. shit. Yeah, yeah. That'd be wild, man. That'd be uh, pretty insulting. I think guys need to start doing that more, man. Yeah. Leave like a real mark. Freedom. Yeah. Cause like girls are always talking shit about guys eating. I mean Yeah, dude. But they know. don't even they don't know how to do it. I mean, you have a joke about it, but do you actually think you're like that bad at it? No, no. No, dude, it's all fictional. I'm yeah, you're just being s- humble. I'm <laughs> sick at it, dude. Dude, I'm humble on stage in real yeah. life. I'm sick at That's it. That's all I was thinking when you were saying it. I was like, dude, there's no way. There's like, no way. Dude, yeah. you know. Yeah. Bro, I've showed you a few things. Mm. You doing like the alphabet backwards or like what's going on? Dude, I'm fucking I'm I'm doing <laughs> dude. Actually looked up a video recently. I don't know why. Don't ask me. This Jesus. is like, dude, these are in the depths of like whatever. It's called, dude. It's like a fuck. It's like a tutorial on it. So funny. It was th- this. It was called the Kiven method, dude. The Kiven method. Kiven? And I was like, what? Yeah, Kiven. Isn't that the cop who fucking killed? Yeah, that's George the Chauvin Floyd. method. Yeah, oh. that's when you fuck. <laughs> that's when you put your knee on the pussy, dude. <laughs> You put your knee on the pussy and then you oh. go to the fucking district court. And dude, yeah, dude. People make signs picketing you. You play that. You play that rap song, "Breathe." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. And, and all the hoods of America, they're painting murals of your girlfriend's <laughs> vagina after you give it the Chauvin method. Just says Kevin though. 
<laughs> yeah, so anyways, there's just some like this like fat goth kid and his like goth girlfriend. And he was like giving a detailed explanation on like how to eat vagina. And uh the all the Kivan method is is like it's instead of doing it like straight on like you normally would, you just do it from the side. Like the left or the right, doesn't matter. Uh nah, I don't I don't I don't think that matters. Dude, but you gotta, you gotta fucking <laughs> yeah, I, I, gotta more, notes, I, gotta, I should fucking email you gotta him. rewatch it, dude. Dude, he you was should rewatch uh, it tonight, dude. His girlfriend came the loudest fake calm of all time. It's oh, pretty it was funny. Real? No, sh- dude, he like touched her. Also, he said the way to know <laughs> that she's warmed up and ready is if you brush your nose over the clitoris. Wow. Then he did it, dude, and she like screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, dude, she screamed. What was the what was the content like? What were you doing? Were you watching this? Should before you went to bed or something? Bro, I literally, I'm not joking. I like was not jerking off. I literally was just like. <laughs> Do, fucking doing research, dude. You're on the subway. No, I, don't, I was talking about it with someone about it, and like, uh, I think they were like, said they saw a tutorial. So I just like Googled that. Yeah, I would do the same thing, man. Yeah, you could, yeah. <clears throat> just to like, dude, we should out. make a Kiven method <laughs> video. <laughs> just hire like a power washing company. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to shoot it and direct it. Yeah, I mean, dude, I know boys who like, when they were having sex for the first time, they're like. Stuck it in the girl's like a uh, pee hole. Oh, really? Yeah, which is like wild. Rammed man. it in there. Yeah, dude, that I don't even. That's like phys- almost physically impossible. <laughs> they might have been doing brave. It was like method. the intention though. Like they thought it was like you know. Would, yeah. I mean that kind of makes sense though if you're a rookie. Dude, yeah. It's also like it's just you're not like looking, dude. You're just fucking. Yeah, I mean you and I though, dude, we're watching Bang Bros at the age of like four, dude. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's yeah. like I, that's why we're here now. Blindfolded, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't end up like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not, like, if your mind isn't completely destroyed yeah. by pornography. Oh, man. That would be sick, though, dude, to not watch porn until you're, like, or even have sex till you're, like, 30, dude. Yeah. Imagine the fucking rope you would shoot, dude. Yeah, you'd it'd be crazy. You would probably pass away. Yeah, but you'd be so, you'd be so pumped. Dude, there's a lot of shows where uh, people, like, get married and they're, like, virgins or whatever, and they're, like, or... Or it's like their first kiss they showed on film. It's pretty insane. Really? Yeah, they're like eating faces, dude. <laughs> eating faces. Oh, man. I watch a lot of those like uh, disability dating shows too, like Love on the Spectrum and Down with Love. A lot of face eating. The second one's like the, the Downs Down, one. Down, yeah. I feel, dude, they're just mad eager. They're just like so full of love, you know? Yeah, they got that extra strength too. Yeah, if you're a bad kisser, you shouldn't, you should not feel bad. Mm, I mean, you, you know? know I like had to learn how to kiss at like a fucking food drive, dude. dude like, do you ever try and like your hand? No, dude. I had a pocket <laughs> pussy for a while though. <laughs> nah, dude. Kissing my hand is too fucking. That was too much. It's too gay, dude. I went straight to <laughs> pocket <laughs> pussy. Dude, I mean, I got a, uh, I got a pocket pussy at a pretty young age. How'd you acquire that second hand? Uh, Spencer's, dude. Oh, they had like those. Fourteen dollars, man. Magic. I'm not gonna dude. lie, dude. Dude, if you're if you're a desperate man, which mm. I know a lot of these listeners are, dude. Yeah. Get a pocket pussy, dude. Really? It feels legit, dude. Do you lube it up with stuff? Yeah, dude. It feels like you're like having sex with a rotisserie chicken, dude. That's sick. Except you're not. That's exactly what a vagina feels like, <laughs> yeah, dude. A rotisserie <laughs> kind of does in a way. Have you ever stuck your hand in a chicken? Foley, no. Dude, we got to head over to the barn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a live chicken. Dude, every time I see a rotisserie chicken, all I'm thinking about is sticking my dick in it, dude. Really? That's all I'm thinking about. Dude, Thanksgiving must have been insane for you. Dude, I didn't You're even have a turkey, You're just sitting there bro. hard as fuck under the table. I just, did it with, I just did it with lasagna, dude. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, also, dude, you needs a pocket pussy. You can just buy fucking Barillo pasta yeah, and some fucking ground Chef beef. Chef Boyardee, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, there's actually a lot of things, dude. But pretty Who, accurate, probably. Who makes that stuff? Fucking uh, Chef Boy. Is it? Yeah. Is that the brand? Yeah, yeah. Oh my it's god. It's Chef Boy. Dude, imagine going on a retreat where you're just smashing Chef Boyardee with your dick. It'd be sick. It'd be like your own type of retreat. Oh, my God, dude. Your retreat would just be to your bedroom with a can of Chef Boyardee. <laughs> you just charge people $500 to sit there. Even just being on a beach, dude. <clears throat> like in a beach chair and just like fu- doing like doing missionary with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Imagine seeing that, dude. Dude, imagine going on a date with it. <laughs> yeah, like a steakhouse, dude. You would talk. Starts to it, giving you looks across the table. <laughs> oh, dude. You bring it to the bathroom. Dude, yeah, you take it slow. The waiters like all they hear outside is like, oink, oink, oink. Oh. and you're like, fuck, I'm oh, dude. You- <laughs> <laughs> Walk out with a can of Chef Boyardee. Uh, dude, you would go to jail for so long. You're like, it's fucking love. <laughs> what are you looking at? Dude, you would go to jail for a while, man. Yeah, but, but what the, would they charge you with, dude? I don't even know, dude. That would be tricky, but I, I'm pretty sure dude. you would, you know. <laughs> end up in the, that's the irony, dude. You start, you start in the can, you end up in the can. That would be cool to take it slow, though, dude. Have like with a, a, yeah. Like you're at dinner and you're yes. like. Hey, listen, I don't want to do anything tonight, but... You're taking it mad serious, yeah. too? Uh, I'll have the I'll have the lasagna. She'll have the chicken Caesar salad. Uh, and the waiter has to serve you, too, dude. Yeah. Can't disrespect you. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. If she does, dude, you let her know. Don't, fu- <laughs> don't fucking disrespect me. Yeah. You just, you just hit on my... You just, you just hit on my girl. You just hit on my fucking girl. <laughs> Oh, Can dude. you get the manager, please? SWAT team comes in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, shoots the can, dude. You're like, no. I can't even remember if I fucked around with Chef Boy RD, dude. I don't think I ever really had I that. I feel like I always did when I was at like a fancy person's house. That's like a rich person type really? meal. My dad said the same thing recently to me. Really? They never got, they thought it was for rich people. <laughs> no joke, it might be. I think it's pretty pricey. Maybe, yeah, but the inflation now. Plus, dude, the fucking, the instructions on that thing must be wild. I think it's just heat up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think, I'm not joking, it might be the easiest instructions on any food that's ever existed. Uh, yeah, but dude. The instructions just eat. You're telling me there's no chance late at night one night. Bro, you what would- do you think? They, you're like mixing chemicals <laughs> and like. Prepping for hours for a Shanna Kef or Chef Boy RD, dude. Yeah, but dude, I know you and I know me and I know there's a chance there would be like a night where like one of us would like look at the can and just be like, nah, dude, it's too much. I'm bu- oh, it's too much. What do you mean? It's too much, like too hard to make. Okay. Oh, oh, I thought you meant like I can't be with you anymore. <laughs> 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 thought you meant like it would get to a point where we're like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Like I have I to, mean that we have to end this. <clears throat> yeah. Bro, I was eating like fucking, uh. Hamburg helper and like spaghetti all the time when I was younger. Dude, you're straight. Dude, you still basically eat that. <laughs> You've like upgraded like what it is. Like you eat like like fucking nice like hundred yeah. percent Angus lean beef. Yeah, but it's still basically the same diet. Yeah, yeah, but dude, Hamburg helper, bro, that's another breed. I never man. had that either. Is that good dude. as fuck, dude? Those commercials look made it look like unreal, <laughs> bro. I'm not joking. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if like a seventy-year-old guy took a shit on mac and cheese, like, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, dude. It's like the cheapest. Sh- it's the cheapest shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like level. Oh, it's one. bad. Wait, I, is it just the seasoning, or it's you put it in the ground beef? What is it? I think it's already made for you. You just literally like. It's ground Stir beef it in a bag. It's like making spaghetti with beef and mac and cheese, dude. Do you put the beef in or does the beef come in? I'm going to be honest. I don't even know how it's made. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it tastes like fucking shit. Really, dude? dude I, yeah. It always looks wicked good. Yeah, dude. It's just like, it's probably all processed like fucking deer pussy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Honestly, not bad. Probably pretty good for the immune system. I don't, know, mean, what I, I don't <clears throat> know what else like I, I liked to have when I was little. That I like. I used to love spaghetti, dude. I ate a lot of almonds, weirdly. Really? Yeah. Just a lot of sodium, though, dude. Nah, like unsalted almonds. <laughs> Probably the grossest thing a kid could eat. Because that doesn't even taste like anything. No. It tastes like wax, dude. <laughs> you were over there eating fucking hamburger helper. Yeah. It has flavor, dude. I was eating wax beans, essentially. Damn, dude. Were you like fucking anorexic or something? No, I don't know. I just fucking, we always had them. What were your shits looking like? Beans, dude. Beans? I don't think your body can process almonds. Dude. Yeah, I died to go to the fucking hospital when I had almonds, dude. Oh, really? You allergic? I ate a whole bag of almonds and I chugged a Pedialyte, dude. 
When you give me shit for that, dude, oh, I die. It was so much sodium, dude. I got an infection in my small intestine. Oh. I had to check into the ER. Probably, it got inflamed, <laughs> dude. You must have had to eat so much sodium for that oh, to happen, dude. I was at I was in the gym parking lot, dude. How was, old were you? It was like a few years ago. I, <laughs> I was. I drove you. myself to the hospital. Really? Because I was in so much pain. Wait. Oh, it was just a, my stomach was like. Fuck, did you dude. tell them? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> did you? Did they go? How did this happen? Like, what what did you consume? And then you told them. Oh no, they probably went. Has any? Have you changed your diet? Eaten anything weird lately? And then you went. No, nothing out of the ordinary. Just three pounds of salted <laughs> almonds in a Pedialyte. I don't think I gave them the details, man. I think I, I definitely hit it because I think I was embarrassed. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, dude. The nurse was so hot. I think that's all I was thinking about. Yeah. She wasn't even just hot, dude. She was like really caring. Like she was like, are you okay? Motherly. And then she was like, can I see your stomach? And I was like, fuck, dude. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, she was like playing with it and shit. I was like, dude, this is embarrassing, like, bro. Yeah, just like poking it and stuff. She's my fucking fat, dude. She's like playing with my tits. She's like, dude, let me see your tits. Yeah. Dude. Let me see your huge tits. I had like, some fucking big ass titties too. At that. Really? I think I was like a little overweight, you know? Yeah, but dude. She's probably, whatever, man. She's probably just some fucking divorce lady. She's probably gone <coughs> off to it, honestly. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> she just starts sucking on my tits, dude. Yeah. Just telling me how gay I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be so, so hot, you want dude. Some more Pedialyte? Yeah. She fucking, like, injects me with an IV. Dude, if she sucked on your tits, she might have gotten almond milk out of them. For sure, That's yeah. how many almonds you consumed. Dude. Think about it. That would be wild, man. She's like, Imagine yeah, it's how almond. hard you would be. Crazy. Oh my god, dude. Crazy. Dude, she sucks almond milk out of your tits and then you shoot cum, but it's actually almond milk. It's almond milk, dude. <laughs> dude. That's fucking pedial. Like, you just man. dude, you just black out and travel to another dimension where yeah. you're gay. Yeah. Dude. Just this dimension. <laughs> I travel to another dimension where my family thinks I'm straight. I'm like, uh, whoa, what the fuck's going on over here? Yeah. <clears throat> spaghetti used to fuck though. Do you remember spaghetti, bro? Spaghetti was mad good. Like angel hair and shit? Angel hair pasta. We always had that. We also had clam sauce with it. Oh, dude. Sometimes. Bro, the one thing that, like, <clears throat> I didn't even know was bad for you back then was mayonnaise. Oh, dude, I love you know mayonnaise. bad fucking mayonnaise is for What you? is... It's eggs? Bro, mayonnaise is, like, the fattest shit. I feel shit. like the ingredients of mayonnaise is eggs and mayonnaise. Literally, dude. Like, a little... Like, maybe, like, an egg shell and then yeah. straight up fucking yeah. pussy juice, dude. <laughs> dude. <clears throat> You mayonnaise like is mad a, good. And then, dude, so I would have, like, tuna, but it would be, like, just mayonnaise, dude. Dude. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you gotta go heavy on the mayonnaise with the tuna. And that's crazy, bro, because, like, a tuna is, like, the king of the ocean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. You're. It's crazy that you're mixing it with mayonnaise, <clears throat> yeah. which is, like, the, the fucking poorest thing you can ever have in your house. Yeah, it's the fat. You're mixing with the... You're mixing, the like, the most thing. muscular yeah. fucking... Ocean predator <laughs> yeah. with the fattest shit. I think shit. it's a real like. Are they predators, dude? Dude, you ever seen a fucking tuna? Tunas bro? are huge. Oh obviously. my god, dude! I used to get blitzed, and I would watch like Planet Earth yeah, and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, and they would show tuna, bro. Holy fuck, man! It's crazy. It's wild, dude. Why do they get <clears throat> so big? I don't even know, man. I feel like if you're gonna eat a tuna, though, dude, you should have to. Ha you should be required to catch it yourself. Dude, no <clears throat> one would ever have tuna. I mean, you and I do. We could just get There'd like be hundreds of millions of tuna in the ocean. And we still couldn't catch them. Yeah, I mean, you and I would just get like a bunch of fucking like automatic rifles, though. Yeah, go out, start dropping bombs into the ocean. <clears throat> we would go to like a local pond, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, <laughs> we would be in like literally like in the pond in a mini golf course, like a pirate themed mini golf course. Yeah, with a fucking <clears throat> harpoon. <laughs> it's just like wicked focus too. Yeah, like yeah. Our, this is our life, dude. Yeah, sitting on the fucking look Just murder a bunch of sunfish. <laughs> fucking koi pond. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> you ever gone hunting? I've been paintballing, but I haven't been hunting. <laughs> nice. I've been in the woods with a weapon. Yeah. So if you call that hunting. That's kind of mostly, I think, what hunting is. Yeah, you're just like walking around, dude. Like, yeah. Barely, you're probably yeah. not going to catch anything. I've been in the way. streets with a weapon, dude, hunting. That's what I call it, dude. <laughs> Yeah. No. <clears throat> You're That's, always hunting, dude. For pussy. Oh, I'm just kidding. Nah, man. I'm fucking. My bad, dude. Nah, dude. I'm, I know. You, I know. I'm, right. I'm chilling now. Yeah. I'm chilling. I'm out the game, dude. Well, so what, the, you asked me about hunting, dude. Yeah, anyways. Like, uh, <laughs> my bad. My bad. 
Um, yeah, no, I've never been. I've never been hunting. I feel like uh, I feel like it'd be pretty fun though, and I feel like uh, I feel like I'd probably laugh if I saw. I feel like I'd see an animal doing like a <laughs> fucked up thing, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see like, like a fucking what type of animal? I don't know, like a bear, just like shitting, dude. Yeah. I couldn't shoot that. I'd just start crying, laughing. Yeah, I mean, like it's just like retarded as we are, dude. I don't think we, I could kill something. Really? You know? Yeah. No, I definitely could. And if I did, <laughs> I'd fucking laugh my ass off, dude. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, yeah. Me with a gun, dude, I would just be laughing if the whole time. We were hunting and you shot <clears throat> and killed something and then started laughing. I'd be like, holy shit, dude. I gotta yeah. get out of here. Yeah, I gotta go, dude. I mean, dude, if you saw me with a gun, it would be best for you to just get out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because they would have to show us, like, the basics and stuff. Yeah. They'd be like, don't point the gun at anyone. I would just be like... <laughs> you definitely... That's definitely must have happened. Have you ever shot yeah. a gun? I mean, I've shot a paintball gun. Yeah, but not like a real gun. <clears throat> My Asian friend's dad was like, rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, don't point the gun at anyone. And I was like literally pointing the gun right at his face, dude. Yeah. He was like, I don't think I should have you. <laughs> I don't think I should have you. <laughs> Out here, dude. <laughs> Wait, he was in a bat in his backyard. His backyard. Damn, dude. <clears throat> dude, he had a fucking deck, bro. That was like twenty feet high, and we would shoot people on fucking dirt bikes as they were as they were coming by. Yeah, that's sick. It's just fucking wild. It's I like shot thing. up my friend's shed, dude. Yeah, I like I was like <laughs> fifty feet off. This <laughs> <laughs> is smoking random people walking by. <clears throat> yeah, Bro. dude, you're a fucking hazard with a gun, for sure. It's fucking hard to. I worked at a laser, you know, a laser quest, like and a, a laser, like a laser, like a laser tag place. Yeah, and uh, like I would, I was the marshal, so I'd have to like tell everyone the rules. I'd have to give like a speech. It was the most yeah. embarrassing thing ever, dude. People from my high school came in to play laser tag, and I had to <laughs> stand up and be like, "I'm the marshal." And everyone's yeah. like, "Dude, you're not, you're Dave. You're in the, my gym class." Yeah, but uh, it's pretty bad. But then, dude, my last day there, I fucking quit because uh, there was like a birthday party and uh, all the kids were like obviously mad out of control to the point where at one point during the game, I was like yelling at everyone to not run. Dude, one point during the game, I <laughs> looked up. Dude, there was a kid legit, not joking, climbing on the ceiling of the place, dude. He was on the ceiling. He Jeez. climbed up to like up a level and then like jumped off and hung on the ceiling. How and fucking I, high was the ceiling? Bro, mad high. Oh, shit. I was screaming. And then I went out and I was like, dude, I'm <laughs> done with this place, bro. Someone's uh, going to fucking break their neck. That's wild, bro. Dude, it was insane, <clears throat> dude. Spider-Man, dude. Mad disrespect. Dude, that place was the funniest place. One of the funniest places I've ever worked. There was yeah. a manager. Her name was... We had code names. Her name was Spock. And, uh, bro, the fucking... She had two... It only had room for like one birthday party and somehow the place got booked with two birthday parties. So she was like mad stressed out. Yeah. People were like eating like cake off the floor. And then uh, I think a fucking pipe burst and the <laughs> entire place flooded. Dude. Those places are so <clears throat> fun though, man. So funny. Uh, especially like the place with the rollerblading inside and they have the... Yeah. <clears throat> that was the first time I heard the N-word, dude. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> would, I think I don't remember probably started in a place like that. Well, dude, the brothers, dude, they love to shred it on rollerblades. They do. That's like an old school thing. Oh, yeah. They're nasty. I saw this black dude fall, bro, and he just goes, oh, shit. And then he dropped the, <laughs> dropped the, the end up. Dude, I could not stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he was with like two chicks, too. Damn, dude. Yeah, they go hard <clears throat> at those places. Yeah, man. I like uh, my buddy Nate, bro. He fucking, st I think he still rollerblades like in his garage. Really? No. <laughs> just full speed doing like circles probably like, like <clears throat> probably like last year or something maybe but yeah he was like super dedicated to it man like he like would always ask me and i'd be like i don't know man like you know yeah like dude, i'm I'm gay but i'm not that you know yeah obviously also it's like a quick way to really get injured you or just get you know transition dude transition yeah you might fucking fall right into cutting your dick off or something yeah i mean shit like that dude <clears throat> it's so much fun yeah. And you know it's fun, so that's why you don't do it. Yeah, yeah, you can't. It's you like, can't what, why, are we, why are we having fun right now? You can't have that much fun. Rollerblading around, dude. Yeah. What the oh, fuck? Man. My Next. fucking, uh, my Spanish teacher from high school, bro, I was <clears throat> wicked high once. <clears throat> Next to the, this river called the Blackstone River. Mm -hmm. 
I'm with my boy and the, uh, his girlfriend. Dude, I was so stoned. And I look up and I see my Spanish teacher on rollerblades from like 1960. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it was just like a tree. <laughs> It was a stop sign. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're like, Mrs. <laughs> Kerrigan. Oh, dude. I wish, bro. It was actually her, though, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> she she screamed something in Spanish from like 60 yards away. Bro, dude. You're like, dude, I didn't pay attention to your <laughs> class, obviously. Yeah. But even that, man, it's like, how do you even respond? Like, I don't know. Not only do I not, I don't know anything in Spanish. You get but... to speak in tongues back to her. Yeah. <laughs> Confuse her, dude. Make, make her think she doesn't know the language anymore. <clears throat> Just yell anal. Yeah. <laughs> Los enalos, <laughs> mamacita. Oh, man. Yeah. <clears throat> we used to torture my Spanish teacher, dude. We would throw fucking everyone in the classroom. <laughs> Get pennies. And then when she turned around and faced the chalkboard, you would just hear fucking six pennies whipping against the chalkboard, <laughs> dude. She Jewish? No. Oh, shit. No, it's just like a fun thing to do. <clears throat> yeah. You just hear like in the middle of fucking... Yo necesito And it's just like Dude I feel like Spanish teachers Always got it the worst Yeah <coughs> I think it's like a ra- Maybe like a racist throat, thing, A racist thing dude Dude every Spanish class I ever had The teacher just got like Abused Yeah same Like it was crazy I think it's because Nobody took it seriously I think because Were they are, are, Were they Spanish Might have been racism dude Every, every Spanish teacher I had Was a, a white lady With a <laughs> shitty name And yeah. blonde hair Yeah it's the funniest thing just Literally, like the, the scare, like the scaredest word. Yeah, it would be like Senora Carrigan. <clears throat> you know, like my Spanish teacher's name was Miss Rounds. Miss Rounds. Yeah, Did she have some. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, damn. Nah, dude. Her fucking husband was probably doing rounds on her though. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. That's pretty yeah. good. I don't have any. Uh, I just, I just had teachers from like, I don't know. I had one teacher from Kenya. We tortured her, tortured yeah, her, dude. Locked her out of the classroom multiple times. Um, we would all hum so she couldn't tell who was humming. Because if you got close, you can just also like you don't open your mouth when you hum. Yeah. So the whole class, you just hear. Mm. <laughs> when she walked near, you just stop humming. <laughs> Complete like psychological warfare, dude. When you go back home, do you ever see like any of your teachers? Nah, nah. Have you? I think I've seen like a few, dude. Every time I see him, it's always the teachers with like the smoke and tits, dude. Really? And I'm just like, you still have it. Whoa. It's wild, that's man. Sick. They're always at the supermarket, too. I think most of my teachers have probably killed themselves, <clears throat> realistically. Yeah. When you find out who they actually are as people. Hor- the supermarket is a pretty horny location, wouldn't you say? Mm. What, what would you say are like top, like underrated horny locations? Plain? Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. You see some straight up yeah. sharks in there, dude. Yeah, dude, for in sure. In the fiction section. Yeah, dude. The fantasy section. You see like the fucking mm. little goth chicks. Yeah. Like just l- doing lurking, that dude. to you. And you're like, I mean, dude, that's why any dude goes in there anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> they're lurking, dude. Yeah, dude, they're lurking. They're hoping that like they see someone at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to do that at the supermarket, but no- nothing ever happened. Like Target, bro. You just you ever lurk. go to Target, dude, late at night? <laughs> yeah. That's a fucking. It's a depressing place, man. Dude. <laughs> Target late at night? It's like late? the happiest place I've ever been really? in my life. Yeah. A lot of women. Oh, is a Target in your location kind of kinda like shitty, dude? Yeah, it wasn't a shitty spot. Yeah. Liberty Tree Mall. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally Oh, dog it's in shit. a mall, so it's not a real Target, dude. Yeah, I'm talking about Targets that take up the whole parking lot. Yeah, yeah. No, <clears> this wasn't. I don't think it was that real. Dude, I spent so many weekends there, man. Just strafing in Target. Just buying clothes like I would, I was never going to wear, yeah, dude. Yeah, never needed. And yeah. buying like hummus and shit, dude. Yeah. And just thinking about meeting someone there. That's true. Supermarkets, place to Target. I can see that. I can see dude, that. Dude, have you ever like gone into Barnes and Noble and bought something <clears throat> and then like bought a book and just never read it? Yeah, that's like most of my life. Yeah. Is like the amount of hours I've spent in Barnes and Noble, it's primarily just to like shit in there. Realistically, they have a bathroom in there, dude. They, dude, brother, Damn. brother, you gotta, you gotta get on the bar. That's how you, that's how you find places to shit. If you're out and you need to go, you go to a Barnes and Noble. <sighs> Best bathrooms, dude. You can just walk in. No one fucking questions you. Yeah. Plus, they're all nerds, dude. You f- go like that, dude. <clears throat> just flex on them, dude. Flex on them. Go in the bathroom, fucking scream shit, and then <laughs> immediately speed walk out of the Barnes and Noble. Damn, dude, I gotta fucking check that out. It's a good, it's a good pastime. Yeah. 
I feel like, dude, I'm at the point in my life where I'm always buying shit I just don't need. Yeah, that's, yeah, dude, same. You were going to Amazon, dude, and just like... Nah, I'm, I'm pretty good about not doing that, luckily. So what are you buying then, dude? Just food. Really? Yeah. Spend too much on food. Where do you even buy food, dude? Like, every, dude, I eat <clears throat> fucking halal from this one guy, like, fucking eight times a week, probably. That's where you're filling up? Yeah. It's pretty good, man. Is it real food, though? Yeah, it's good. It's good food. Damn. What is it? Yeah, it's like lamb over rice, dude. It's good stuff. Dude, food is like, oh my God, man. If I wasn't eating, fuck, dude, I keep going home a bunch because yeah. I'm mentally like collapsing, bro. Really? And I'm like, dude. You good, dude? <clears throat> I just like keep going home and I'm like, oh, like this will this will be like a good reset. Yeah. And then I get home and I'm just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what am yeah. I doing, dude? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I ate like six turkey sandwiches fuck in yeah. my bed. At like two in the morning. Jesus, man. And then I drank a whole two liter bottle of fucking uh, like ginger ale. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude. Dude, that's dark. Yeah. You, yeah. You <clears throat> the whole reason up. I went home was to not do that. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, oh, dude, let's get some gains, hit the gym, like yeah. reset, reset a little bit. And I ended up. up like literally like taking 14 shits a day, dude. Yeah, yeah. I almost started crying, dude. Because of the amounts of shits. You're I think doing. it was the ginger ale, man. I drank the whole fucking. Dude, you gotta thing. go back to fucking Pedialyte and almonds. You gotta go back to the <laughs> basics, dude. Check myself That's into the ER reset. like a real man, dude. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> have a fucking have one of your kidneys shut down. <clears throat> yeah, but dude, I don't know, man. Every time I keep like doing shit where I like, I'll imagine what's gonna happen, mm. and then the exact opposite happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Well, like talking about like in life in general. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Not specific things like, like false hope. Yeah, the way like life is going, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now nah, we're we're fucking fine, dude. We're staying mentally afloat, dude. I got heckled so bad. What happened? Fucking Saturday, dude. Where were you? Usually I wouldn't talk about this, dude, but I just I've never been so mad really after a show because like I took the whole week off and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna like reset, whatever, dude. And then I just got bored, so I like went on. I did like a guest spot in Providence, dude. Yeah. So, like, I go up, I have to do the bullet spot, dude, told, like, two jokes, and this guy was, uh, he was an older guy with an older woman, mm -hmm. and, dude, they wouldn't stop talking. Like, they would keep repeating shit that I was saying and then, like, mocking me, dude. So, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna, like, Mocking this. you? <clears throat> this guy was, like, straight up bullying me, dude. What? So, I was like, oh, there's no He's way. Like, like, like that? Oh, dude, just everything I said, he'd be like, fucking, yeah, I bet, and, uh, like, I'm not sure like that, but he was just like yeah. repeat the shit I said. Yeah. And he was just like openly talking. He might have been mentally handicapped. Bro, dude. He was two feet in front of me. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, they're there's no stage. There. Yeah, so they're on like, top of you. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I can either like do my five minutes and just dip or like confront this guy. So I was like, <laughs> dude, can you shut the fuck up? Damn. Like, really? No, I didn't say that. But what'd you say? I was like, you guys don't have to do that. Yeah. You know? And they Stern. were just like, no, I was being super nice, man. That's like, good. Yeah. I even like kind of froze up a little bit. Yeah. Which I got mad at myself. You gotta be for. like super nice, but like, hey man, like I'm just trying to like <clears throat> get through this. Like we're all trying to have a good time. Like I really appreciate it. And then you'd be like, Oh, but and also if you don't stop, I will fuck your girlfriend. Yeah. In front well, of it was you. his wife, dude. But Yeah. But you gotta call a girlfriend <laughs> disrespect there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Like I think when shit like that happens, like you kind of figure out who you really are, dude. Yeah. And I what? just noticed, like, I'm just like too nice of a yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I should have like really gone at him right just away. So many times, dude. Oh. Re especially recently, where I'm like, I should have fucking stabbed that person. Oh, you should have just ripped into him. Like, yeah. Right away, just no mercy, just like yeah, shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. Especially when you only have five minutes. Yeah. But yeah, dude, like, I like almost froze up, and at one point I was like, I, I don't even know what to say to that man. And he looks at his wife, and he's like, "Oh, he can't handle it." What? <clears throat> so I, so then I dude, got, I got mad, dude. You just shattered a bottle on his head, dude. I actually started getting mad, and, but I was like, kind of calm. I was like, All right, "I'm gonna yeah. rip into this guy." Yeah. So I was like, "Oh, like, uh, how long have you guys been together?" And he was like, "Oh, fifty-five years." Classic trap, by the way. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, have you been interrupting people for fifty-five years?" Yeah. Bro, everyone just like fucking started clapping and going crazy Nasty. and i was like all right can you shut the fuck up now yeah like everyone here hates you let's go <clears throat> bro next joke same dude no. he just keeps going dude he might have been a fully disabled dude, guy i got oh, i was so frustrating man i like was actually screaming in my car i was like <laughs>
Like, I thought I was going to kill this guy. Dude. Yeah. I thought I was going to follow him home. and just, like, did, he, uh, did he do that to other people, too? He did it the whole show, I guess. And then uh, the he left right before the headliner went up. And Tip everyone him. cheered. And, like, really? everyone was like, you fucking, you know. Was he? Yeah. Dude, what if that guy just kept following you to every single show you do? This guy just tormented you. I think I'd low key be happy because I would just get better at like crowd work. <laughs> you just <laughs> fight him every show. It's funny because like you know exactly who the people are afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know how in mass like there's certain areas where you're like, oh, I know like who you are. Yeah. You know? Oh, like a, like certain guys. Yeah, like this guy was like, oh, I'm, I live in Narragansett, and I yeah, was like, oh, you okay, have a fucking it. big house, and your family has a shit ton of money. Like, right? I know who you are. Right. He was right. wearing a leather jacket, dude. You're he looked like entitled. he was in the fucking mob. Really? He look, probably looked like all of your uncles, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, by the way, your friend Dave is gay. I know it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, dude. Is that what all your uncles look like, though, nah, dude? Nah, nah. Huh? Nah, not at all. <laughs> nah. Probably. <laughs> they're, like, very normal looking, I think. Dude, you didn't even tell me. One that. of my uncles, dude, my on the Irish side of my family, bro. My my uncle moved to Florida. Met, met my uncle's so funny, dude. He's, like, mad short. And uh, like you know, like hefty, and he's like the funniest dude. He has this mustache, and he moved down to Florida, and he got a fucking golf cart, and he's getting a uh, he's growing out his hair. He's bald on top. He's growing out his hair, and he's getting a giant American Eagle tattoo, like on his back. Dude. American Eagle, dude. No, like like the American oh. Eagle. <laughs> Are you saying like Not the, the company? Store? He just loves the brand, dude. Growing out his hair, dude. He's trying to become one of the one of the models, dude. Standing outside, of, dude, just hammered, just molesting, yelling at, yelling. just molesting little girls, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. All right, that was an <clears throat> that was an Italian joke, dude. Yeah, no, I get it, dude. He's not even Italian; he's fucking Irish, just like you. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot, dude. Last, I swear to God, dude, there was definitely dude, a time. Did you notice how house smells like mothballs? I don't even know what mothballs smell like. Oh. Right, Our mind. apartment does have a, like a distinct smell. Dude, to I came it. home from LA and I walked in and it was like it's mo- mothballs are like like old people have them, like they like you put them so the moths don't eat your clothes. <laughs> dude, I it's swear probably, to God, it's probably just dropping from my it's gooch. The fucking like Greeks, dude. That it's own probably this my place. gooch, dude. It might be, dude. Just not nah, that would it, it change sense, dude. If that's the case, if that's the case, you need to get checked out. You <laughs> can't mean, change sense like that. <clears throat> so mo- you oh so you think it smells like old people like it's like that old yeah it's like a smell. weird it just smells like mothballs fucking insane when we first moved here it definitely had like a distinct there's no like uh airflow in here no, no. <laughs> it's just like z- like 0.1 percent like oxygen literally like the worst fucking air quality you can possibly yeah. imagine it's like five g's dude yeah five gangsters <clears throat> all right we got some uh some voicemails dude that was sick some callers bro i haven't I don't have a way to like listen to these before. <laughs> oh, really? Like I haven't listened to any of them, so All right. <clears throat> see what we got, dude. We're calling. Make sure you can hear this. Yeah. This one's pretty long, dude, but it'll be all right. What up, John? Love the podcast. Quick question: I've been dating this girl for the past three years, and We were doing the whole long distance thing and uh, she lives in San Diego and my whole plan was to move to San Diego when I finished school, Um, like college, I mean. We recently broke up and I've been saving up for a while and I've been to San Diego, I love it there. I kind of still want to move there. Is it weird if I still move there after we've broken up? Like she doesn't own the whole city, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Is it weird if I also, like, move there? Or, I, I don't know. I don't want to adjust my whole life plans just because we broke up. But it's a weird situation that I'm in. Regardless, I want to I wanna move somewhere else. I live in a small-ass town in Massachusetts. So trying to find new land to bear. All right, man. Well, I love the podcast. You're funny as fuck. Keep doing your thing, homie. All right. <clears throat> peace. Damn, dude. That's my boys, like, my boys, going through he's it. He's struggling, dude. Yeah, he's really struggling. I think you should take over San Diego, dude. Be a real man, dude. Like yeah. go, go do it. I mean, dude, my my ex girlfriend lives here. Look at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this could be you, dude. Do you want to fucking uh, be emotionally fucking dissociated yeah. in a brand new city? I mean, dude. You can do it, dude. Dude, just fuck Click of a button, book a flight. <laughs> Your whole world could be well, shattered. San Diego, dude, San Diego. I got shows that are coming up December, Friday, December 8th and 9th, I think, that weekend. Friday, Saturday. <clears throat> Madhouse <throat> Comedy. Mm. Dude. You're gonna this. He's gonna look insane. First off, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna look nuts, dude. Yeah. Like from her perspective, you gotta block her. If you're gonna do it, you gotta block her. Get her completely out of your life. Do you still talk to her? Maybe. Did she, did you mention it to her? She said she doesn't want you to do it. You're like, oh, it's not even because of you. You know. What are the motivations yeah. behind it? He sounds like a genuine guy, though, man. Sounds he real. Sounds genuine. like one of the boys. Yeah. Which is a little scary. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. Cause I, I'm one of the boys I dude I remember when uh <clears throat> when my when I was dating a girl in college who I was like in love with, I would go to Subway every day, dude. Yeah. And it was on the same road as like the high school she went to. Mm-hmm. She was like fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew where she was every day. I knew when she was gonna leave school and I would time it so that I was getting a double chicken shop salad. While she was driving home, that's how much I like. I was in love with her. Oh, really? Wait, yeah. she was your girlfriend at the time. We broke. This is after we broke up. Oh, I oh. knew I wanted her to see me. You know what I mean? Eating a salad from Subway. Like I wanted Being her. Like, yo, he's on the come up, dude. I can't. Yes. What did I miss out on? <laughs> yes, no joke, dude. dude. I, I lost like thirty five pounds, and I wanted Flanked her to it, know that I'm coming at her. Yeah, dude. I'm salad coming for a fucking hand. throw, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I would literally be in my truck just listening to fucking ACDC, like, full volume, yeah. just eating straight-up chicken just, fucking, like, dude. Yeah, the three, like, Indian employees like inside process, just, like, dude, this kid yeah. shows up every day. Oh, dude, I got straight-up gains from that shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. guess what, man? She never noticed. She never, <laughs> yeah, she never noticed, dude. I wasted so much time, man. Yeah, so. you gotta do it for you, not for them. Yeah, man, I would still go there, though, dude. Because he's saying he wants to well, go dude, there, didn't dude. Didn't he say, didn't you know? he, what did he say about a long distance relationship? Did he say she didn't want? She, she's she's going to be there. You yeah. Know? And he was, she he was didn't go want there. one? Yeah. Oh, he didn't, or he didn't want one. So that's why he was going <clears> to <throat> move there. Yeah. yeah and yeah, then they yeah. broke up. So. Yeah. Then they broke up. That's tough, man. You know, I think mentally, if he knows, like he's not going to be thinking about her, definitely go for it. But yeah. dude, San Diego is just filled with like the fucking puss. armed forces, dude. Yeah. And puss. Yeah. It's all, yeah, it's the Navy SEALs and shit. Yeah, like, dude, you cannot fuck with anyone in San Diego. I know, yeah. You'll get, dude, you'll get choked out by someone's wiener, dude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Huge wieners. Yeah, guys are probably doing unknown moves there down by the beach. Yeah, you know? practicing so, on themselves. As far as, like, your manliness goes, like, I wouldn't test those waters. Yeah. You know? Maybe just fuck. Yeah, I don't think this guy's going to, like, fight anyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just, like, really wants to know about, like. Well, dude, you know how the breakups go, man. First yeah, you thing you're doing swing. is hitting the gym, dude. Obviously, you know? yeah, yeah. You, you want him to go down the right path. You know, you don't want this guy doing and, like you know, San Diego is not a big town. Like, there's a chance he runs into her. I mean, <clears throat> bro, here's what you got to realize. Like, there's a chance you see her with her new man. You know, he's fucking some oh, jack military know, she has dude. A new guy, but sh- for sure will she will for sure have a new guy out there, dude. Oh my god, that's what I'm saying. I'm just being honest, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah, fully. Like. But you know what? I th- I think maybe he should check out some other te- some other places, add it to the list, make it a possibility. I think he should go, man. As long as he's mentally prepared, hypothetically, just imagine to have her. the worst time of his life, dude. Imagine you walking down the beach, dude. You're by yourself, man. You're you're resetting like a real man, and you see her with some shredded dude. Getting. Can you handle that? Yeah. You know. Yeah. If you can, then go there, man. Yeah. Dude, my buddy lives in San Diego, and. uh <laughs> He's like one of the funniest guys I've ever met, dude. You, he's a he's a minimalist though, dude. Like he he has like a studio apartment, like a motorcycle. Like right, he fucking right, just right. has shit that he like needs. Just poor. <laughs> yeah. He's just like literally just poor, but he's having the time yeah, of his yeah, life. Yeah, but he dude. calls it a minimalist, yeah. so it like sounds sick. There's a chance that like you could see he could see your friend with this girl, the funniest minimalist of well, all my time. Friend's married. Like, so. You have to be prepared for that. My friend's to. dating some like powerlifting chick though dude so if i'm if you're gonna get with a chick dude just get with a chick who's like raw dude you yeah know? she's doing like at least three plates right you she's know eating fucking raw eggs all yeah. all day non-stop having the yeah. craziest diarrhea i've never been dude but i just heard that's like kind of what it is yeah now nah. <clears throat> like retired 
you know. It's yeah, it's like super military. Yeah. I'll find out, dude. I'm gonna be there soon. Oh, dude. I think whatever. I think it's it's a good move. Do you have other ones, dude? This is yeah. I love this. I like helping the people. I feel like all the other ones are just gonna be like farts, dude. <laughs> it's so funny you can't screen them ahead of time. Johnny Hardcock, my man. I just got a question for you, my brother. I've been drunk probably for about 27 days straight so far. I just wanted to know your opinion on if I should stop and seek help or if I should see it through until January. Um, Thanks, bro. Just let me know. Thanks. Because of the new year? That's short-sighted, dude. Keep January, why stop there? <clears throat> I think you should keep going. See how long you can fucking push it. <laughs> you didn't really give a lot of info. No, I he's can't like, tell if he's an he's alcoholic. Like, or he's literally like on a bender. Yeah, well, he's he's been drunk twenty seven days straight. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say he's an alcoholic. He literally goes, "I've been drunk twenty seven days straight. My oh. life is completely falling apart. Do you think I should stop?" It's oh, like, man. yeah, dude, probably. Yeah, that makes me sad, man. Yeah, that is pretty sad. I like that he's looking to the future, though. He's like, I could stop or I could I don't understand the whole uh, the January thing, though. Is he saying, should I push it through? To Is he saying like <laughs> he wants to start like a New Year's resolution? I think that's what he means, but it's like it's like pretty arbitrary. Like, yeah. Why still keep torturing yourself until you could just also stop tomorrow? Yeah. It doesn't have to be. This guy needs to watch like a David Goggins yeah. video. Sobriety shouldn't depend on like a New Year's resolution. It should be like when you need and are ready to get sober. Shouldn't be like <laughs> pushing it. Also, once. like yeah. yeah, when people go to the gym or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, this guy needs to fucking as a as a brother, dude. Definitely, yeah. that was kind of sad, you know. Yeah, no. In reality, like the reality situations is, yeah, he has no hope. He should just fucking. I wonder if he's listening, like when he's cocked. Probably, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean if he's only, listened at all in the last month. He <laughs> was drunk. Yeah, I mean, brother, dude, get it together, man. <clears throat> dude, 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 you're a motivational guy. Give him like, give him like your philosophies on like motivation. I mean, I'm kind of sad right now, dude, because I'm, I'm thinking about what he's going through. You know, right. like, I don't know why he's drinking. I'm right. sure he's drinking for uh, like a deeper, like there's a deeper reason yeah, as to why he's, obviously, yeah, he's probably going through some shit, dude. Feeling some sort of void. And drinking's not going to help, man. Yeah. You know, I think we all know that. <clears throat> it's just going to make everything way worse. Right. You know? Right. Even when he hears this, he's going to be like, fuck, dude. But yeah. I hope that yeah. makes him fucking stop, dude. You know, <laughs> figure it the fuck out, dude. Right. You know? Yeah, I think you I think you got to be ready. You got to do it when dude, you're ready. people who drink by themselves, those are the people who have, like, real scars, my man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> That's when it gets kind of sad. That's our man right here, dude. Yeah, dude. It's, like, definitely him. I'm not, we're not we're not making fun of him. We're just no, saying no. like this guy's got some fucking demons yeah. that he needs to. So you gotta you gotta <clears throat> work on you gotta work on yourself. You gotta get yourself right, dude. Yeah, stop mentally. Stop fucking drinking. What's the dude? cause of this, dude? What's the yeah. cause? You gotta get sober long enough to figure out the cause. Yeah, dude, you you know what your demons are, bro. You gotta fucking take them head on, bro. He's just like my cock is too big. Yeah, you don't have to be. You don't have to drink to be cool, man. No, you know. So, <laughs> I don't think he's doing it to be cool, though, dude. I mean, dude, he was asking if you should push through to January. So he's, <laughs> I think he's like saying like, yo, I can do this. You yeah. Know? It's like, yeah. dude, no one's going to. I do like, dude, I do like that. Like keep going spirit. Oh, truthfully. Yeah. yeah. I do like for that. other things. Yeah. Yeah. He should like, yeah, he could transfer that to like, you know, something better. But dude, yeah. you got the right attitude, man. Let's see if we got any other ones. Tough guy. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even know if we got any other ones. It's like voicemail from your mom. Check out. Fucking get your laundry out of the dryer. Hey, man. Uh, question here. So every time I use the bathroom at work, the toilet clogs up. And I don't know what to do when I... I think that was it, dude. What happened? Dude, that, the it toilet just off. exploded and fucking killed his phone. You think he did that on purpose? He wants us to figure it out. He might have dropped it in the toilet. <clears throat> Dude, I clog the toilet every day. Bro, the landlord almost fucking yeah. kicked us out. Because you yeah, like flooded the bathroom. Terrible question for me, dude. Dude, even at my mom's, bro, I 
dude they look like we uh, oh my god dude the pipe connects in between the main road so the plumber was like dude it's so clogged we might have to literally like rip out the rip water out system the road <laughs> cut the pipe in the middle of the road in half and take out all this shit really yeah Bro, that's legendary dude, shit. Yeah. You, dude, if you shit so much that mm. they had to do road work, like they had to take <laughs> out permits to deal yeah. with the amount of shit that you have. Yeah. That's like like you're costing like this to like the taxpayers money with your yeah. shit. The, dude, there had to be a town council meeting. Yeah. Like, yo, we gotta deal with this problem. Yeah. They're like, we have three issues on the docket, like there's a lot of traffic down on Main Street, the the light and also, like, uh, this kid, John Psyche, keeps fucking shitting and yeah. blowing up the water system. They have to do, like, a fundraiser and shit? Yeah. <clears throat> dude, when I, even when I worked at, I used to work at a bank, dude, and I literally used to have to sit down with people and be, like, mature and stuff. Yeah. Dude, I, I clog the toilet at the bank that no one's allowed, no one's allowed to go back there. And I just kept, like, trying to fucking unclog it. Yeah. Okay, I'm jerking off right now. Yeah. But, dude, I kept trying. It wouldn't unclog, and I kept... Like putting the fucking thing down, yeah. And it, dude, water started flying everywhere, and my shit came up, and dude, seeped through the bottom of the Wait, door. Wait, you kept flushing it? Yeah, because I thought it was unclogged, but it wasn't. Oh uh, was yeah, super yeah, that might be the problem. Yeah, and yeah. dude, I think it it came to the top, <clears throat> and I was like, listen, dude, you can give it one more rip. Yeah. Or just let it sit, and I was like, I'll give it one more rip. And it came over the top. By rip, dude. you mean flush or like flush? Point? Yeah. Well, Bro. both both man <laughs> bro <laughs> obviously it was filling up with water because you kept flushing it it's, and it's <laughs> right on the top and you go i'm gonna get one last shot and you <laughs> flush it if you didn't do that it would just sat there and slowly went down slowly went down yeah <laughs> dude, um, did like the one thing you shouldn't have done dude it got all over the floors bro yeah it started leaking into the fucking break room bro. dude i had to walk up to like the tellers and be like hey can, do you guys have the plumber's number they had to call a plumber to come in and fix it, and he was just like, holy shit. Yeah, dude. He he was fucked up, man. He's, like, Mentally, never seen he anything. Like, that was his uh, Vietnam moment. Because there was just shit all over the floor. Like, yeah. he was so confused. He was like, why would someone at a bank do this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they didn't know who the fuck they were dealing with, dude. He definitely walked by my sh my office and was like, it's fucking that guy. That dude. kid. It's yeah. the kid with shit all over his legs. <laughs> kid, kid eating chicken breast with his bare hands. Yeah. The kid's sticking his dick in a rotisserie chicken. I'm drinking like an extra large fucking Dunkin' coffee with like beef. <laughs> Just eating fucking handfuls of laxatives. Yeah. But know. yeah, man, I would, uh, you get, dude, you just gotta wipe. <clears throat> One thing I've noticed, man. Wait, this kid's issue is that he, he clogs the toilet. He just clogs the toilet a lot. Every day, yeah. Yeah. I don't see what other option you have other than like shitting in other places. Well, no, dude. I mean, dude, ever since I was young, I would use a bunch of toilet paper. Like, too much. Really? You know? Yeah. But then I, I learned that people use, like, small amounts. Right, right. And they get up in there, dude. Yeah, you gotta get deep. So, you, dude, I think this guy needs to watch a tutorial on wiping his ass. It could be it. It could be using too much toilet paper. I feel like a YouTube tutorial could really help, for sure. Yeah. Fucking you know? look up that and the Kiven method. Yeah. Just I'm not even joking, dude. Going. Like, most of the time when I take shits now, I... Like, I'll flush mid-shit. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Dude, you act like that's, like, a crazy, like, thing you came up with. That's, like, what you, you got to do. That's fucking knowledge, dude. Yeah, that's that's the knowledge. Like, you're impart, trying to impart yeah. on the people. Yeah, take multiple flushes <clears throat> per shit. All right. Let's wrap this up, dude. You uh, you have any shows coming up? Uh, just those ones in San Diego. I think it's, the, yeah, the weekend of the 8th or 9th, whatever that is. Madhouse Comedy. In San Diego. Yeah, I have no shows coming up. Um, <laughs> but same. Thank Besides you for that. the uh, thank you for the support. Uh, leaving voicemails. I'll try to get to the other ones um, next episode. Please like and subscribe. Uh, the faster this grows, the better. And uh, thank you guys. <laughs>